Raylo. Why is this a thing? So if you don't know what Raylo is, or if you do know and that's why you're clicking this video, it's the shipping between Ray and Kylo Ren, which I do not understand in the first place. I can understand other ships, but not this one, because Ray is the hero of the story, while Kylo Ren is the bad guy, the villain of the story. They're supposed to fight each other, not fall in love and like whatever. Like I can understand from other like things from like from Flash with the Snowberries. Barry Allen and, and Caitlin Snow are on the same team and that's a perfect reason for them to have a ship for the show. When it comes to that ship, but that shipping is a bit racist because Barry Allen and Caitlin Snow are both white and these belong there instead of Iris with but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Raylo right now. So what I said Ray is a hero, Kyle Ren is a villain. Those don't really mesh with each other. And also, you have to think about what's the main the main demographic for Star Wars is kids. Now, kids, little boys and little girls, are gonna like Ray and probably not like Kylo because he's the villain. I like the heroes when I was a little kid. They're the people who were falling and we want them to win and achieve their goals in the story. Now, for this, I don't understand that because. You remember what I said, if you look at the point of view for kids, because if they see Ray and Kylo end up together, that makes no sense for them. Because, like, why would you go off with this villain, be romantic with him, or whatever? Now, if the end of the movie, if they have split from their masters, from Ray, from Luke, Kylo, from Snoke, and they do, like, their own journey of the Force, I don't think they're going to be romantic to each other, because they'll... Because Kyle Ren might hate her because of what of what because of what Adam Driver said in the interview that that this random desert garbage picker just took my family's lightsaber from the graph of his hands, which is another interesting thing that this Raylo thing might not happen at all. So these could their own thing without being together. I because I still don't because even if they do somehow team up, I romantic with each other as well. Plus, hold on, get out of the way, R2. Yeah, right here. This, this scene right here, it, and also this scene right here, they're two different shots, because remember, this outfit of Rey looks like from the beginning of the movie, like when she's on uh, Octo, I think it's called, the planet, where Luke is, also the poor guy there too. That's her outfit from Octo. This is her outfit when she's on Supreme Leader Snoke's ship. That's probably going to be the end. And that's when they probably go see each other. And also this screenshot right here, see, Ray is also wearing her Jedi robes, her new outfit, not her old outfit, as you see right there, or Kyle Ren right there behind her. And that's another reason why uh, this shot, not the, not the same area. And also, I like to think that this is Kyle Ren handing his hand out to his mom, like, come we'll live with us. Because I really don't think he has the courage to kill his mom. That's why I think that this scene is right here. And a lot of people are misinterpreting this scene, so... I think it's something different. And also, no offense to Adam Driver, but Kyle Ren's not that good looking, so why in the first place would he want to set them up for each other again? What? <laughs> I mean, Adam Driver, he looks like a pretty cool dude, actually. He looks like pretty cool. So he's jacked up, too. Look at that. Look at those gun. Damn. But <laughs> the way he looks like when he's playing Kyle Ren, man, the solo gene skips a generation, probably. He's no Harrison Ford. I well, have a good looking guy that Ray can go with, go with Poe Dameron. Damn, he's, I'll go for him. <laughs> I, the fangirls seem to like him a lot. He also has a BB-8, so... And also, that makes more sense to be Poe Dameron, because she had BB-8 for a while. Like, for like a day or whatever. Even though they had no re interactions, but we don't know about some about some certain things when they're on, um, what's the planet, on the Resistance space, so we never know that they could have some interactions or whatever, I don't know. I'm not being a shipper between Poe and Ray, but I'm just saying, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I don't know. What do you think, R2? Also, she upgrades R2, and both keeps his ball. So the final line, that to me, shippings are very unnecessary and kind of cringy a little bit. They still could be related to each other. She still could be a, a Skywalker or a Skywalker slash Kenobi, which I think there's a, a Kenobi girl at, that is Luke's age, or <laughs> that's what I think. Luke can follow with her, this Kenobi girl, and.
have rank, whatever. I'm a still a believer of that, but The Last Jedi is just around the corner. We'll find out when it hits theaters on the 15th, or whenever you see it, the 14th, whatever. Yeah, this is... I, I'm not like one of those other people that are just... You know, I'm a lot more calmer than probably a lot more other people that about this Ray Kylo Ren stuff, Ben Solo, whatever. I'm still trying to understand it, like why people are trying to do this. Like he's evil, she's good, and also the best ship is when you the ship the characters with yourself. <laughs> this thing, at least it's not like any of the, the fan art that you would see that would make you cringe. On <laughs> oh my god, this is PG at least, but the other stuff. It's cringeworthy. I was just scrolling down the other day that on Google on Google Images, like, see, there's people that post their plush toys of, like, Ray and Luke and whatever, like, homemade ones that people are selling. And I, I'm, like, scrolling down, and I see, like, the, some of the cringy Raylo stuff, like, fan art of that. Like, I, I Google on Images plush toys, and I see that. Like, what in the world? I also still think it could be related, and... <sighs> and people were posting this random stuff which is very awful. I wonder why. People are weird. People are very weird. I wonder if this was like if, if the internet had back in the 70s it would kind of be like this for Luke and Leia. It probably would be. Probably still people that are that like their brother and sister from crying out loud. Stop people. There's no need to do this. So are you a Raylo fan or whatever, or you just don't want to happen at all? We'll, we'll find out in a couple days. Also, the behind the scenes reel, they released a couple days ago, they said, like, Daisy and Adam are in the same room. They're going to fight each other. She's the good guy, she's the bad guy. It makes sense for them to be in the same room and watch them train, or they're just being good cast members and watching them train. People are just like, <gasps> they're in the same room with each other. Ooh, what's going to happen there? They're probably going to fight. Like this scene right here, they're probably going to fight each other. I don't understand, people. I'm going to do an R2-D2 video. How much R2-D2 stuff I have. I don't have the figure art yet. I need that. Which, I have an Amazon gift card. But I'm saving that when Ray comes back on Amazon. I wish I had more money. So, I have been that one. And... Let's find out in a couple days. See you later.